Hi everyone. Last weekend I went to one of my local radio, um, amateur radio rally things and um, when I got there I wandered around and saw this scope sitting on one of the tables and you know as you do noticed it was a 60 megahertz scope and well you know I've got 60 megahertz scopes and um, wandered off and well rushed around as you usually do when you first get to one of these radio rallies making sure there's nothing um, absolutely wonderful there for, for like one, one pound fifty and I came back to this scope after I'd had a wander and it was still on the table and um, it was for sale for twenty pounds so I just had a more interested look you know a little bit more more time to look and I noticed that uh, it had cursors on it now I don't have a scope that's got cursors on it um, my main scope that I use uh, is this Tech 453 which if you've seen my videos before you've probably seen and I've got uh, in this room at the moment I've got another formal scope so but um, this is a Gould uh, 60 megahertz oscilloscope or, uh, with a model number of 3060 and what it actually is is a Hitachi 680F um, and it took me ages I was searching for Gould 3060 and then I saw a post from someone else on a uh, electronics forum to say that Gould had rebadged um, Hitachi gear so I quickly went and looked through all the Hitachi oscilloscopes and found that this was a 680 so having cursors for me is a real step change and I know people will be laughing um, I can't see the need for a digital oscilloscope with the stuff that I repair which is all vintage radios uh, vintage test equipment whereas this is going to be really good for me um, let's have a look so you can compensate so you can tell it you've got a also got a vellum and probe with it as well actually so you can tell it what the um, what the setting is on the scope either times one or times ten um, by just pressing this button and this probe thing here so you can tell it and obviously it knows um, what the uh, volts per division setting here is then and the time base setting right here's the cursors so the obvious one it's got volts um, and it's got these two reference um, cursors here what this one at the top at the moment is active and this one is inactive and you can move the um, whether they're on or off up here and move them down either at a fast speed or a slow speed using this button and you just press to move it down um, move the cursors up and down faster um, it's got frequency measurement in milliseconds and the most useful for me it's got frequency measurements in Hertz so for example if I put my finger on the end of the probe here so we should be picking up um, hash from the mains if I go on the peak here and switch it over and go on the peak here we should there you go we have 50 Hertz which is obviously the mains frequency here in the UK so a very useful piece of gear um, the guy I bought it off he works with oscilloscopes for a living as I say this was his hobby scope um, he looked after it very well um, other than just you know finger grease and a little bit of dirt around the edges of the switches here um, the screen um, it was quite dusty on the back here of this um, plexiglass and the CRT as I found out was quite dusty as well once I cleaned those up the um, brightness improved greatly I took the cover off um, there was dust and dirt around the neck of the CRT as you'd expect not much around the high voltage uh, box which is on this side and just a little bit of dirt around the power supply you know, nothing more than that so I blew it all out um, cleaned it up um, 
reseated all the transistors unfortunately the ICs are all soldered directly into the board um, took off and reseated all the ribbon cable connections um, and there was nothing wrong with it anyway but I just did you know, did that and um, and spent the next couple of days learning how to use it um, I did I did film some video of me cleaning it and looking at the inside and everything I didn't you know a couple of days ago I thought well I'm not going to upload it because it's a little bit boring um, but yeah just to show you um, that you can pick up oscilloscopes for 20 quid and really really pleased with this yeah I've just got to decide where to put it now because as I say I've got one two three four five oscilloscopes in this room at the moment um, and I've got another four stored around the house in various places so this old tech thing here um, I love that scope it does everything I need except has cursors which is not its fault it's from the late 1960s um, it is however big um, and heavy and it hasn't got a case with it still I keep looking for cases on eBay and all the Tech 453's that have come up recently are all working so I don't want to buy a working scope that um, someone else could you know buy and you know like and use just to get a case so um, I don't know what to do but this one here it's not not harmful at the moment not having a case or anything um, it was an old rack mount unit it, it, it has actually got a case but it's just got no stand so you can't actually do anything with it um, so I'm debating whether to move the Tech 453 under my bench here and put this lighter um, Gould stroke Hitachi scope up there don't know yet um, don't know right anyway thanks for watching and um, hope everyone's well